This is my first uh, big role. I did only an, another one uh, when I was 14, 15. I'm 22. So the name of the other film was uh, Out of Sight. The director was Danny Sirkin in Israel. And now, and now I did this. I fill the void. I studied in an art school in high school. I studied theater, but then uh, after you graduate, you go to the army. And then when I got out of the army, I did this. So now that's all I did for now. Uh, it's a role of uh, Shira, which is a Hasidic uh, girl uh, from a Hasidic family in Tel Aviv, which is a very special community because uh, Tel Aviv is a secular city. So they live among us, but we don't uh, really know them. And it's the story of her life, her family, and uh, the part when she started to look for a match to get married. No, that's for her to say, I guess. I mean, she she told me she felt uh, like I am Shira, but uh, and actually I felt close to Shira, <laughs> to the character. So maybe that was it. <laughs> Amazing with Rama, the director. It was really amazing. She's a very, very special lady, very special woman, and she has a very unique story. And she really helped me understanding everything to the depth of it because it's not easy to just understand this world without uh, a window, uh, like someone from inside to help you. No, actually no. Maybe, maybe religious. There are many streams, so maybe one with the kippa, which is something more light. But no, actually not. <laughs> yes, I mean I don't know if it changed, but it got. I had a chance to understand it more deeply. It was because um, I didn't know anything about it. You think you know, you say, okay, in holidays they do that and blah, blah, blah. But you don't know anything. You know this much and not, not the true meaning of it. And I, I realized that for a lot of people that are religious, they, they're drawn to their religion. Even because Rama was, she was secular till she was 25, 26. And then she chose to be orthodox, to become orthodox. So I talked to her and I talked to a lot of people that um, became religious. And they told me that what attracted them was the love that was there. The, the thing that the Torah is based on love and connection and very togetherness. So that is something I never imagined that people see in the Judaism. So that was nice to know. Uh, yes, that is something that I couldn't do because I'm not used to it. I don't. I didn't grow into it. But the parents doesn't choose. They tell her, okay, he's from a good family. Go see him. But if she sees him and she said, I don't like him, or he doesn't even look good, if she sees him in the supermarket and she says, oh, he's ugly, then she doesn't have to meet him even. And if she wants to meet him, then after they talk, she can say, I didn't have a good vibe with him. I don't want to see him again. And if she has a good vibe with him, then she said, okay, let's meet again. And then after two or three meetings, if it goes okay, and the, the both, they're both saying yes, so then they decide to get married. But they choose, not their parents. Maybe their parents give them 